Hi, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors. Welcome to my studio. Uh, today, we have another uh, watercolor demonstration, and uh, welcome to see you. Uh, I'll be uh, uh, broadcasting live from Chesapeake, Virginia to uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, and uh, later on, we'll be putting it on the Instagram. And uh, I'm in my studio today with my wife, Gloria. Welcome, everyone. And uh, she'll be monitoring the broadcast and also uh, the chat room. The chat room's live. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, give me a give me a question or a comment, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if this is the first time you've uh, tuned into my program, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up and a like; uh, it helps on my rating. So I appreciate that very much. Uh, today I'm going to do uh, a watercolor painting, and the demonstration is going to be uh, using uh, watercolor washes. And I'll be doing a couple washes today. One's going to be called the uh, gradated wash, which goes, it goes from uh, dark to light as we come down the painting. And then I'll be doing a, a small flat wash, which uh, from the top to the bottom or to, from left to right, it's a one, uh, one value, one value. And those are very, very useful in a landscape. That's why I want to show those today. And there's a couple other kinds of washes which uh, may, may demonstrate those on another program. But today we're going to concentrate on uh, those two right there. So let me go to my painting table and let me get started. Yeah, overhead. Okay. Uh, there's a photograph. Uh, here's a reference photograph of uh, my painting today. It's a waterway scene. Uh, and you can see here, the. Uh, let me show you. Whenever you do a gradated wash, it's normally for the horizontal plane. Now, in the sky, we don't think of it as a horizontal plane, but it's really, at the top and the bottom, it is a horizontal plane. It just goes back. And usually at the top, it's dark overhead. And as you go down further behind, out in the, out in the distance, it, it gets lighter. So we're going from dark to light. And that's, that's just perfect for a gradated wash. And also in the water, we have a reflection. So it's, it goes from light to dark as we come forward. So that's another perfect example for a gradated wash. Now over here on the grass, I've got a little light area up here of, of, uh, of grass. As I come forward, it's in shadow. So there's another good example of another gradated wash over here on the side. And I'll demonstrate those today how we do them. Uh, the flat wash, about the only one, the trees here are across the, uh, uh, across the horizon line here is a tree, tree line. And that's pretty well the same value. So that's going to be just a flat wash with maybe a little texture in it to show uh, it's a tree line. But that's where the flat wash would come involved. And, and the reflections also. So that's where the, that's where the washes are going to be done. Now, what I did, well, I took this painting, I took, this, this, I took a, a photograph of this, and I said, oh, I wonder how, I kept thinking in the back of my mind, how can I make, is there anything interesting I can add into this? And all of a sudden, the, 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 uh, the bridge went down, or up, and a boat came through, and I captured that also in another photograph of the same scene. So you can see there's a white sailboat here that's heading toward the locks, uh, heading toward the eastern direction. Uh, so I got, the, I got the sailboat in there. So that's going to be part of the painting today too. And of course it, it gave me a little texture in the water, so that was another added feature. So I'm always, uh, always aware of what's going on around me when I'm uh, on location, uh, both for taking photographs but also when I'm painting. So that's a good example right there of capturing uh, something. Now I did, a, I did a design drawing here on my sketchbook, my sketch pad. You can see the drawing here. It got the, uh, the main element, the tree line back here, and the, uh, the sky and the water, and the grass over here. And I got that little, I got the boat here also, uh, and a couple of buildings here in the background. Okay, so that's, that's where I started, just a simple, a simple sketch. I'll show it up real close. There it is. And... Uh, I've already shown you the I've already shown you the photograph, and there it is. That's the reference photograph. Okay, so let me put that aside, and let me move my uh, drawing to. Uh, oh, I want to show you one other thing before I start here. Uh, okay, put that on the drawing table. Let's see. I got I'm missing another. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So I I transferred my drawing to uh, my Gemini. Watercolor paper, 140 pound Gemini, 100, 140 pound cold press Gemini, and it measures. Uh, in this case, I've got it in a, I've got it in a uh, vertical format because of the of the scene I'm going to do today. But it measures 15 in, 15 inches high and 11 inches wide. 
11 by 15. That's a quarter sheet of uh, watercolor paper. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this aside. I need this. I need these two here. Okay. Okay. And uh, the material I'm going to use today, I'm going to use, uh, of course, uh, uh, Holbein's uh, Artist Watercolor Paints. And it's going to be a very limited palette. I'm only going to use uh, Ultramarine Blue, that'll be for the sky and the water. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Green Number One mixed in with blue to give me the, the green grass. And uh, for the structures uh, or in the tree line, I may put, the, I'll use uh, Burnt Sienna down here and a little bit of uh, Yellow Ochre, maybe maybe Yellow Lemon, just a mixture for the skips. Very small amount for the for the uh, uh, for the tree line and also for the background. There's some structures back there, and I'm going to use in my uh, uh, I'm going to use in my uh, silver brush, hockey. I've got the large and the medium and the small. I'm going to use all three of those today. Okay, large, medium, and small hockey brushes. And in addition to that, I'm going to be using uh, Holbein's. Uh, Number 16 round, nice big old round brush. I love this one. This gives me lots of lots of control. I'll be using a half inch uh, flat Holbein brush and a number six round. And I'm going to use a number number two, a number two. This will be, I got a couple little fine areas I want to use for the fine points. So I've got the number two round here. I have here. It's a natural hair. These are all synthetic brushes over here. These Holbein are synthetic brushes. And the and the hockey, those are natural hair. Those are goat hair brushes that are uh, made by Silver Brush. Okay, let me get started here. First of all, I'm going to mix up some paints. Uh, I'm going to start with. Uh, I'm going to wet the. I'm going to wet the. Uh, I'm going to wet the half inch, not the half inch. This is a, this is the medium side. I'm going to mix up a little bit of that ultramarine blue. And this will be for the sky and for reflection in the water. I'm going to start out with a, like a medium, probably a medium uh, value here. I'm going to, I have to cover a whole half sheet here, so I'm going to make sure I got plenty of paint here on the on the palette. Okay, that brush is ready to go. Now I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use the large hockey, and I'm just going to put water in that. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to wet the I'm going to wet the paper down first a little bit. It helps to let the paint flow. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water up here. Wet the uh, wet the paper. And uh, when you do this, you want to make sure that uh, you don't have any puddles. You want to have a uh, you want to have a, a, a moist you want to have a moist background of paper, but you don't want any puddles. Because that that would change the the values and the, the paint itself. So I can see here from the angle I'm looking at, uh, I can see the I can see the the wetness of the paper. You can see that yourself showing you the angle there, and uh, it's wet, and I want to keep that uh, uh, just about level. Okay, it was ready to go. All right, now I'm going to take the uh, now I'm going to do a uh, a technique here called for a a flat wa uh, a gradated wash. I'm going to start at the very top. Just like it was in the photograph, we we'll start at the top and come back. I'm pick a little bit darker up there. I want the top to be much darker. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm just gonna rinse out not rinse it out but just put the uh, put the paintbrush into the rinse bucket. I'm gonna I put a little bit of water in the brush. And that makes the next next the next strokes lighter. Then I'm going to go back in, get some more water in the brush, and I'll come on down. So as I get as I get further down the as I get further down toward the toward the middle, one more time. Take I'm, I'm just picking up water out of the, my rinse bucket, right down to my more or less horizon line up here. Okay, now I'm looking at the wash here and I see parts of it there, so I, while it's still wet, I can go back in 
and I can go ahead and put a little more a little more pigment in that area just get a little bit lighter I'm looking in I'm looking at my uh, view on the on the screen okay now what I, uh, what I forgot to do before I started was I wanted to tilt my board so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my 2x4 here and I'm going to lift my I'm going to lift my uh, board up now I got it at about a 30 degree angle. Now the, and the water is going to be running down. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wipe off the edges here, so that the uh, the paint doesn't leak into the side of the of the painting. So I take a tissue, <clears throat> and I'm going to wipe up that excess moisture on this on the edge. That'll keep the well, paint from running back into the and cause a bloom. Because I've got to tape down. I got the paint. I got the uh, paper paint taped down on the, on the board. I come around here and do uh, do the side over here. I'm wiping up the excess moisture off the edge of the edge of the paint. All right now, while I got upside down, now I'm going to go the other way. Uh, as you recall, the uh, the water started out. Started out dark at the bottom and it got now as you came up toward the middle it got, it got lighter so I'm going to go the opposite way so I'll pre wet the, I'm going to pre wet the paper right up here to the middle now I'm going to look uh, now look at the at the glare so the paper's wet. And uh, I go across to make sure it's it's. I'll try to keep equal equally moist all the way across the paper, equal equal moisture. Okay, put that aside. Now I pick up my uh, my middle size hockey again and load it with the load it with the paint. Now I'm going to start up here. Now I know I'm going to be going with another wash over here, so I'm just going to just kind of uh, do a little. I'm, I'm just kind of covering a little bit of that over there, but not not cover at all. Be a little bit darker. Remember, watercolor dries uh, a lot lighter, so you got to estimate the the drying portion of the watercolor. Now I'm going ahead and put my brush in the water. Pick up a. I didn't add any more paint to the any more paint to the brush. I took the. I actually added water to the brush. I added I added some more water to the brush. So the the uh, the, the uh, layer is my layer of brush strokes here are going to get lighter and lighter as I come forward down toward the the middle. Now there's an area here which I have that little. A little sailboat in. So what I'm going to do is I leave. I'm going to leave that one white. Not going to put any. Not going to put any any water or paint on that area. Okay. Now I'm going to check my uh, check my uh, wash again. So, so like I did on the on the top side, I'm going to go ahead and put another another coat of uh, pigment on the water. Get just a little bit darker. Just a little bit. Go back in with water again. And then come on down. Get a little more pigment in there. A little more gradual. Take a little more water in the brush. Keep it nice and smooth. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe the edges uh, again along the edge. Keep the moisture from going underneath the the tape down here. Get this side over here. Okay. All right. So now I've done the I've done the first gradated wash. I did the sky up here, and I did the water down here, from dark to light, and from from dark down here to light in the middle. All right. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry. Well, you, you have to estimate what you, how far you want to go. You start at the top with your 
darkest layer, you first brush wash, <clears throat> then you put water in your brush, more water, as you come down it gets lighter. Just by the fact of adding water to the brush, the wash gets lighter. So the distance depends on your, uh, your drawing, your definition. Uh, the block under here, I got the 2x4 underneath there just to give it, I just raised it up. I, it's, not a, it's not perfect how, you don't have to have it exactly 30 degrees or whatever, whatever amount. Just have it tilted so that the water will, will flow down toward the bottom. And with experience, a little bit of practice, uh, you'll find out the best way to do that. Okay. All right. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry in that. Okay. okay let, me, let me stop that. All right. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the, now I'm going to put this green one. Uh, there's a green wash over here I want to put in the, on the side here for the grass over here. So I'm going to mix up another, another color, and I'm going to use a, a smaller. I'm going to use a smaller hay brush this time, and I'm going to mix up a, mix up a little bit of a green number one of here. So I'll start. I'll start with a lighter green, and I'll put I'll put a little bit of yellow in there. I'll put a little bit of a yellow lemon, just a touch. And then I'm going to bring in just a just a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue, just a little bit. It's going to be a light green, but I didn't want I don't want it to be that it's so that uh, yellow green number one is so bright. I want to kind of tone it down just a little bit with a blue. It'll still be a light color. And then as I get further down, I want, I want a darker mix. So I'll mix it up right now as I'm here. I want to get a darker mix of that green. Okay. All right. Now I've got the, the wet brush again over here. So I'll take the large hake and do the, I'll wet the area just a little bit. Put a, little, put a little moisture out here. Now check check the check the uh, moisture. Just check the amount of water. There's a lot of water in this brush. Brush covers it carries a lot of water. This hake uh, is all natural hair, goat hair, but it, it covers it carries a lot of water. Take off the excess moisture on the side. I'll check the wetness there. You see the, how wet it is. It's really wet. Okay. All right. Now it's wet. Now I'm gonna load up my brush with that green, that green mixture. And I'm gonna start up here at the top. And come on down. And as I get further down, get a little bit darker. Add a little more of that uh, ultramarine blue to that mixture. So really, this uh, what I'm doing here now. Basically, this is uh, also a little variation of the of the graded wash. The gradated wash is going from light to dark. With the same the same color here I'm adding another color to it so this is really what they call a vigorated variated wash where I'm adding another color here I'm adding a, in, instead of just the green I'm adding also a darker blue so I'm getting another another type of wash which is called a vigorated wash which is a multicolor wash and you'll find yeah that's good for uh, sunrises and sunsets because you have uh, a lot of color, a lot more colors than that. Uh, let me go back now. I want to pick up a little bit more. I think what I'll do is pick up a little more yellow. So I'll take my uh, take my flat, my half inch flat, a little more yellow. I'll come. I'll, I'll make this a little, a little more 
colorful up here as I come down. I can always tone it down if, if it dries too too bright. And then pick up some more of that uh, blue green mix. Pick up a little more blue. So I'm adding a little more value now. So I started out light, but now I'm going to get a little bit darker as I come forward. More blue in it. Okay, and then I'll take this this brush with the yellow and kind of make sure I blend those in real good. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna wipe off the edges because it's wet. We're gonna wipe off the edges, keep the moisture off the edge of the of the tape. It's taped down, so I'm gonna get the keep the edges clean, keep extra moisture out of there. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dry that a little bit. A little quick dry. So I've done this, this is also a graded wash, or a gradated wash, but it's also got a little variable color. So it's a very graded, graded wash. You're going from a light to a dark, but it's also going from a green down to a blue, which is a different, a different kind of different uh, wash. Okay. All right, now uh, I've got this tree line across here, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my, uh, uh, I think I'll use my number 16 round. This is a this is a good utility brush. It's a round brush, but it's also large. It's synthetic hair, but it's really great. So I'm going to mix, uh, I'm going to mix up a uh, kind of a darkish uh, green, and really in the background, because it's distance away, I'm going to a lot more blue to that. So I'm going to start out with a bluish green. As we go, for, as we go further back into the background, uh, the, cool, the colors get a little bit cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in. Uh, and this is going to be a light, it's going to be a light value. So I'm going to start back here in a, in a very back background here behind these white, these buildings. So this is the background uh, uh, tree line behind those large, those buildings in the background, in the middle ground. So, and I'm going to take up a little bit uh, of a tissue here to keep it light. So with this round brush, I'm getting a little more detail here with the point of the brush because it gives me a, a good control over the brush stroke. I can get a lot, a lot finer control with the uh, round brush, with a fine, with a fine point. See how point it comes right to a point. Really like that. Okay, I want to keep this. I want to keep this uh, light. It's darker than the, it's, it's, it's darker than so it's like a, it's like a medium. A medium light. It's 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 darker than the sky, but it's lighter. It's lighter than what the other trees are going to be around it. All right. So this this is a little patch here. I'm really I'm kind of building a little like I say a flat wash. It's just one color, and I'm just going to go behind these buildings here with this uh, with this uh, light. Or medium, uh, medium value, bluish green. I keep the I keep it bluer because it's further away, it's further away from our view, and I'm I'm blotting it a little bit to keep it nice and much lighter. Don't want to get too dark. Not to compete with the darks that are going to be forward of that. And a little bit of just some more trees back here. There's a far off, far off trees. It's a little tree line there, okay? Okay, now let me do, let me give you a, uh, now I don't need the board anymore because I've done the washes. So I'll take away the, I'll go back to a flat surface. Uh, took away the uh, two by four. 
And uh, what I've got here now, let me do, let me show you my close up. Uh, I'm looking at these buildings down here. You can see this tree line back here. That's that tree line I just painted in. And these are the buildings. There's a white building here, and there's locks down here on the side. So those were those were the trees I was just putting in right here on a close up. I did a couple a couple other photographs, and all I did was blow up the the photograph to get a, a close up view. Okay, let me come back to my overhead camera. Okay, I went back to the regular print. Now I'm going to go ahead now and put in this uh, tree line over here to the left. And here I'm going to get a little bit, uh, well, let's say a little, a little bit darker, a different kind of green. It's going to be a little bit, you know, I said this is blue, it's going to have more green over here. So I'm going to have, I'm going to put more green in here. It's going to still use the blue, but I'm going to put more, a uh, more green, more green, uh, more green paint to it. So I'm mixing that green number one with the uh, ultramarine blue, which will give me a darker blue. And I'll even pick up a little bit of Payne's gray. And that will dull it down just a little bit, because I don't want it to be really uh, that, I want that, that colorful as a, of a green. I just want a, a, a darker green over here, a lighter, uh, a greenish green. Be a little, it's going to be a little darker than the background. The background is like medium. This is going to be like a darker a darker value here. So I'm, I'm painting in the tree line now, getting the top of those trees a little bit. And there was there were some uh, cloud, there was some sky peeking through the tops of those trees. So I'll leave, I'll leave some sky holes here. And come on down to the, come on down to the waterway, uh, water line, which is right next to this little sailboat. Which we don't want to forget. Uh, I'm gonna get on the other side of this tree, this sailboat. This sailboat had a real long, and I'll show you a close up of this one also, a little bit, a little bit in a minute here. I just want to get this tree line started, and I want this to be a little bit darker and a little bit different color than that background tree, so it so it will show a little bit of uh, forward position. That's that, that line there is behind this line of trees here. So you can see I made these a little bit greener, which means they're closer to me. I can see the greens a little easier with closer up trees. And I'll make them a little bit darker than that background row of trees. This is still in the foreground, but there's two levels of foreground here. Right? I'm in middle ground. This is more middle ground. So I'm making them just a little bit uh, different color. So it's one shows forward of the other. Okay, now I'm going to show you a close-up now of another another photograph. Okay, this is the this is what I'm painting in right now. Next to the building, there's this tree line, and then in front of that is this, is this sailboat. And this is what I'm painting around right now. So I'm painting the tree line here uh, in this building over here. So there is a difference here. You can't, the sun was shining on this so brightly, it was, you can't tell too much of the difference of the color. But I, as an artist, I'm going to make a different color here than a different color here. So this is, this is a, a lighter blue uh, with blue in it, a lighter bluish green. This is going to be a, a darker uh, green with a more, more green value in it. But I'm going to paint, paint around this sailboat. And you can see it's got a long mass to it. So I'm going to paint around that also. Or I have to paint over it when I get finished. So back to uh, back to the overhead camera. All right. So I'm uh, uh, I'm painting around this uh, sailboat, and I'm going, not going to worry about uh, covering that because I can paint over that with some other. I can paint over that with. I can get the white mask in with with uh, white paint, which I'm going to do. So now I'm going to come on down here to the water line. And uh, there's a little, uh, there's a little uh, shoreline here, which has got some uh, boar, boars. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a bulkhead. It's like this edge of the edge of the water. It's got, it's got some uh, wood there. And I'm going to paint that in with the burnt sienna. But right now I'm going to paint around this uh, sailboat shape. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to come in here and uh, there's get the top of the 
Now this doesn't have to be, a, I'm not going to do a lot of definition, it's just going to indicate that there's a sailboat. I think I'll, I'll have enough of it defined that will represent the, sh the shape of the boat. Okay, all right. Now, as far as texture, see, I can just put some brush strokes up here, kind of give a little bit of texture for the tree line, just by doing a little dabbing with some paint, and that will give enough indication that that's a tree line over there. Okay, and that's all we have to do. And of course, the edges will also define as a tree line. Okay, now this little uh, this little building down here. Uh, I think you saw that. Let me let me go back to the close up again. This little building over has a has a uh, bluish gray roof and a white white side. So that's what I'm going to show here. Go back to my overhead. So I'm going to put in a mix up a little bit of blue, bluish gray, ultramarine, a, a touch of uh, Payne's gray. Just give me a a bluish gray, a grayish blue. And uh, I don't want it too dark. I want it kind of light. Now I'm going to paint that. Uh, I'm going to put that roof in. That's a little dark. Lighten it up a little bit of a little bit of water. You saw me uh, as I put that down. I, I noticed it was too dark, and it was I didn't want it that dark. So I picked it up right away with uh, my tissue. And so if you know you put something down and it's not the right uh, color or it's too dark, then uh, that's when you pick it up with a tissue. Now there's another building over here, and that's kind of like a yellow one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a little bit of my yellow. I'm going to use my yellow deep. I'm going to put that in over here. This building had a yellow, a yellow uh, color to it. I'll put that in, okay? Let those dry. Uh, over here, uh, the uh, I'm going to put your shoreline in. You can see over here. I'll, I'll show you again, close close up to the overhead. You can see along here. There's a there's a shoreline that's got a little wood along the edge, on the edge of the water. So that's going to paint that in right now. Oh, pick up some uh, burnt sienna. I got the uh, number six round. And I'll pick up some burnt sienna. And I'm going to go along the edge, along the edge of the water here. And I'm going to put in some burnt sienna that will simulate those. Uh, uh, there's some, there's some tree, there's some stumps and trees, and and there's like a bulkhead along the edge of the waterway here. Kind of a shoreline. Because this is a this is a canal, and the canal has to have a. A bulkhead on it to keep the water from leaking out. Let's see, put this over here. This continues up to this edge over here. Okay, now there's also uh, there's also some uh, edges here on the water here. I'm going to use a little bit of that burnt sienna now and build a little bulkhead here along the along this front of this building here, the white building. There's also some fence posts that I'll put in. Some poles. And there's a part of the locks over here starts over here on the side. There's a there's some a lot of wood there, part of the wharf. The boats some of the boats can tie up while they're waiting for the locks. And put that in.
Okay. Now while I'm here also, I'm gonna take a little bit of a little bit of Payne's gray, and I'm gonna put in some windows up here. So just there's some windows in this building. Just little dots, little dots and dashes. And there was a couple, it was a window in this building here. And there was another building on this side, a little white building on the side over here. Okay, that's enough detail down there. Now the boat itself, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in a, let's see, my value, my value study. Underneath there. Okay. Okay. Uh, in my preparation, I did a value study. So this is what my value study is. So the boat I'm going to put in up here. And I'll show you a close-up of that. There's the value study. So I put in the, the darker trees, the lighter trees, the buildings. And I've got the sideline over here. So I'm, going to, I'm working on the boat right now. Okay, the boat. So let me put that in. So I'm going to start with a little bit of a uh, little bit of gray. I'm going to put that along the side. This is the starboard side. Starboard side of the boat. Then there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, a little cabin here on the top of this, so I'm gonna put a little bit of dark here to define the cabin. And there was a, of course, the sail was wrapped up, but it has a, it had a sail covering on on the sail itself, which. Which was up here on the super on the uh, on the mask. I'll put that in. Okay. And then this is kind of the inside of the front, the bow. This comes around. I'm just going. This is going just to be an indication. Now I'm not going to have all defined here, but just a hint of the structure uh, Take that off and it was a dark stripe along the bottom. Let me get that in On the bottom of the sailboat Okay, now I'll leave that alone for a while. I'll go back now. I'll get to the right side over here. I'm going to put in a little bit of the, the tree line. And what I'm going to do is a tree line here on the right. So I'm going to start with some yellow ochre. Take out my brush. A little bit of yellow ochre. And put in some. Uh, these were. Uh, Trees on the right, on the right hand side of the waterway here. And they had, basically it was a, a yellow ochre background, but then they had the trunk showing. I'll put those in with another color. Okay. Let that go. Overlap that a little bit. Let that dry. And up here, up here in the uh, the tree itself, there's some trees over here, some taller trees. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the green from the palette here and put them up in here in, in the side. They, they were just uh, trees. Of course, this is, I took this, this is springtime, so these are branches and so forth that are just starting to show up. 
Uh, and I'm just going to put the color up here. I'm not going to worry about what it is. Just going to say, you know, these were trees that were growing, starting to grow on the side, starting to bloom. And they hung, they hung out over the right side of the of the canal. And they will continue to grow and bloom further on as the year goes on. But right now they're just uh, just getting started. And as I came as they came forward, they got a little bit darker. And I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, mix it up a little bit of burnt sienna because they were still they were still uh, not completely blossomed. They were like still bare branches. I'm not going to show individual branches, but they were just a, a, a clump of brownish foliage here, which were bare, bare limbs, bare branches on this side. I'll let that dry a little bit before we put more in. Okay, all right. Okay, um... Now there is, there was a uh, reflection. I'm, I'll go back to my, uh, let me go to my, let me go to my uh, reference photograph. I'll go back here again. You see on the reference photograph here, there's a, a reflection in the water of the, of the tree line and a little bit around the building down here. So I can put that in. And there's also a shadow pattern up, up here to the right. So that's going to darken this whole area up. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put in a reflection, and uh, let's see, uh, decide what kind of brush I'm going to use. You see a flat brush is probably easier to get in there. So I'm going to use some of this green now that I have in the palette. And I'm going to build a reflection around this uh, left side over here. So reflection, and it's going to help, it's going to help define this, uh, this sailboat also. Now reflections always are vertical. I've always found that when I look at a reflection, it's a vertical. It's a vertical. It, uh, whatever is up there being reflected, it's always going to be a vertical dimension, a vertical shape in the water or whatever is reflecting on. Now I've got the reflection from this uh, white uh, sailboat also. It's coming down. And I'm not going to have these well defined, they're just going to be uh, a shape in the water at this point. And this tree line went up here, it came down to here. And this, the reflection from this sailboat was also in the water. I'm going around and I'm putting that reflection now into the water around. So see, uh, <clears throat> the reflection is going to define the shape of this boat. It was around the bow and along the side over here. Around the super, around this, the uh, cabin. It was a small cabin on top of the boat, on the sailboat. And it was a, a little reflection from this tree line back here behind this white building. It wasn't, it wasn't very well defined, but it was a, a hint of, and this building also had a little bit of reflection in the water. Was it much, but just a hint, just a hint. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, touch up on the boat. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add uh, 
I've got some white paint. This is a Chinese white. And I'm going to put the mask. I'm going to put the mask in there in white. You saw from the... Uh, let's show you a close-up again. You see this long white mask here on the on the sailboat. Long white mask. And there's a there's a black, there's a brown, uh, blue, there's also a blue cover on this uh, forward sail. And of course the, the blue on the on the major the main uh, where the main mask is or the main boom. So uh, I've got some white and I'm using this number two, number two round, which is a real real fine point natural hair brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in the uh, the mask. So it's going to show up very nicely against this uh, dark background green. And then I'm going to continue it up through the sky. It'll show up a little bit, but not as much because the sky is lighter. But you'll get the hint of it. Okay, that's the mask on the sailboat. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got the mask, the, we got the, uh, the mask for the sail, and what I'm going to do now, now this is a little bit blue reflection of water, so I'm going to add just a touch of white to this, just to, just to highlight that reflection a little bit. Right up next to the boat will probably be a little bit darker, I mean a little bit more evident, and along the side, a little bit of that water, a little bit of that uh, white into the water, show a reflection, and that's all we have to do, just make it a, just make it a hint of what's there, okay? And uh, also this white building down here, I can put a little bit of wool. Now, no, I won't overdo it down here because it's further away, but there is a, a hint of white here in the in the water. So I'll put a little bit of white down here for reflection. And there's a, there's a little bit over here on this, on this one here. Okay. Okay. Let's see, now I'll take a look at my paints where I want to go now. Uh, oh yeah, All right. what I want to do is add in those trees over here on the right. So I'm going to take some, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. And I'm going to put in some tree trunks over here. These were trees growing up right along the side, right on the side of the bank. There. And I'll put a little a little darker a little darker over here on the on the ground over there. And then you're gonna put a maybe a, a shadow or two under there's some shadows here under this uh, structure, especially next to the water. We'll just show those off just a little bit more. Okay? Alright. I think the left, and uh, I got a shadow pattern over here on the sides. This is a much larger shadow pattern. So, uh, so I'm going to mix up a, a shadow color here, which is going to be a darker, darker green. And I may mix a little bit of uh, Payne's gray in that, and get a much darker, much darker value. So this this was shadow over here from the from the tree line, which is hitting the the grass. So I'm going to put that in here and darken this up quite a bit. I come up almost halfway. Then I'll, then then the trees now started to, started to show up here that were on the side. So I'm going to start putting some tree trunks in here that were uh, shadows on the grass.
and these shadows went all the way down, all the way down, all the way down the waterway. And it got a little bit lighter as you go further down toward the locks. And I'll make this a little bit darker up here, a little more shadow up here on this side. And once you get your, once you get your first layer down uh, of color, whatever it is, then you can always go back in and modify that a little bit and, and make the make the additional layering on top of that to give a little more definition, just a little more a little more value added to it. Okay, all right. Now the last thing, the last thing I did, I would do is uh, I'm going to put in. I think I'm going to use my big brush, and I'm going to clean. Let me clean my palette just a little bit because I want to mix up just blue. Uh, what there was, I saw that. Uh, I, I saw the ripples in the water. You saw that. I showed you a picture of that. Let me show you one more time. Go back to the photograph. See the boat was as the sailboat was heading toward the locks. It left some ripples in the water. And I think that would give me a little texture. Instead of having a flat, instead of having a flat look here, the sky I want flat is fine, but the ripples in the water is because of the sailboat. So I'm gonna add that in. So uh, this is where it takes a little bit of uh, <laughs> fortitude, <laughs> guts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And uh, it's also as as far as a demonstration. Uh, this is just to let you know you want to try different things. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this uh, ultramarine blue, and I don't want I don't want it too dark. I just want a hint of a hint of color. Let's see. And I can always, uh, if it's too dark, remember I can always wipe it up. So I have a tissue ready in hand in case uh, it gets too dark on me. And I'm going to start up here and just kind of bring bring in some water, bring some ripples into the into the water, kind of break up what's there. And I can take a little bit up with the tissue, but there was movement in the water from this sailboat as it was going through the water. The ripples got, as they get closer to me, they, the ripples got bigger. And you got further apart. Yeah, I'll put a little water on the paint. I'll put a little brush and just kind of soften up some of those edges. Uh, just soften up a few. They're indicating that there was movement in the water. Because that sailboat was still moving. It was moving toward the, the locks to move ahead. Okay. Now, less less little less little uh, detail I had. It was the uh, the sailboat had somebody on the on the beam itself on the mask. There were these two uh, for the sail. It needs it needs that these. There's lots of little guidelines. I'm not gonna put all. I'm not gonna put all the the rigging on there. There's there's all kinds of rigging on on the sailboat, and I'm not gonna put all. But there's these little arms that hold that hold that rigging that goes up and down the pole main mask and then it was one one line that came down 
I'm going to put that in also. Uh, I'll show you. Let me show you a close up of that photograph. Okay, one more time. You see the rigging up here? There's there's two fine. Let me bring up the close up. There's these there's these uh, part of the rigging lines here, and there's this blue there's this blue of uh, that's the sail. That's the forward sail, which is closed up into a a roll when it's when it's uh, not not deployed. So what I'm going to do is bring that down, and it comes from the very top. I'm using a very very fine point brush. I'm coming straight down. It's just, it goes right down to the bow, right down to the bow of the boat. I'll bring that on down. It's got a blue cover on it to match the uh, color of the boat. Or the color of the mainsail. This is like the Okay, all right, that completes that, and I think I've uh, finished off the painting. Uh, let me bring, uh, okay, so what I did there, uh, you didn't see that, I painted that in, I painted in the blue, I painted in the blue line, which is the sail in the foreground, in the fore, and I got the blue, the blue, uh, which is the blue sail cut casing here on the mainsail. But that forward that forward sail that goes down to the bow is the blue line I put in there. Okay, and I added those I added those two little bars there that holds up the the rigging on the on the sailboat. Okay, all right. So I got shadows on the ground. I got the ripples in the water. And the, the biggest thing about this painting though is the is the colorful is the graded washes. I'll take you back to my main camera. There we go. Main camera. Okay, well that was that to me was a lesson and demonstration on a, a graded wash. And a graded wash in this case here, when you're painting a sky or you're painting water or even land, I showed you the grass. The grass, if you have grass or a field or a long field or a wide field, then in order to show dimension, in order to show distance, you need to have a graded, a graded uh, value of the color. And so I was demonstrating here that in the, in the sky you've got a dark, you've got a dark in the top and lighter as you come down toward the horizon. And the reflection of the water was just the opposite. From the bottom it was light as you went higher, as you came down toward the uh, bottom of the painting it got darker, just the opposite of the uh, sky. Okay. Uh, adding adding in the boat was just an added on feature. I wanted. I could have left it out, but I decided it added a little more interest to the painting, and it gave another dimension. It gave it shows a, a little more activity instead of just looking at the water reflection. So that was just an add on I did uh, uh, after I looked at the painting. I said I looked at the design. I said we need to add another feature in there. So I hope you liked that. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if this is your first time, or if you're back again, give me a like and a, th a thumbs up. And uh, tell your friends about it. And I'll be back again next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with uh, another watercolor demonstration. And then tonight I'm going to be on uh, 7.30. I'll be on with Simply Drawing with Everett. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be drawing, uh, let's see, what am I going to be drawing? Oh, pots. I'm going to be drawing three pots. And I think you'll, I think you'll find that interesting. So join me tonight at 7.30 when I'm uh, Simply Drawing with Everett. And then on Sunday, I put out a little, a little uh, quick video on anyone, anyone can draw one line only. It comes out on Sunday. So if you're subscribed, you'll be notified of those uh, videos. So that's why I recommend you subscribe to my channel. And it helps my rating also. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you next week. So until then, have a safe, have a safe week. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.